Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday 2 August 2024. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly contributing editor online Darren Parker writes that South Africa's automotive prospects are clouded by high taxes and export risks. The importance of export growth as an automotive industry strategy is crucial to mitigate the numerous risks associated with South Africa's low growth environment, reveals a panel of speakers in a recent webinar. The engineering news features focus on construction materials and equipment, where a construction materials group looks forward as it reaches its 90-year legacy and commercial and industrial property, where a hotel group plans a strategic expansion by 2030. The Mining Weekly features focus on water purification and treatment, where a plant is beefed up with potable technology, and valves, where a company focuses on client needs. This week's business leader is William Jochen, the president of Southern African Institute of Mining and Metallurgy and a partner at SRK Consulting. And as this week's cartoon shows, the objection lodged by ESCOM's distribution unit to the issuance of licenses to private traders in areas where it currently holds a license has sent shockwaves through the nascent industry. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time. Thank you